Pro Football Weekly is taking a look at the top free agents available this year. Right now we're talking about Reggie Wayne, and he's been so good for so long, even last year with their quarterback situation. Still put up pretty decent numbers, but how much at his age does he have left? I think the important thing with Reggie is to know kind of what you have at this point. I think if you're viewing him as a number one guy, a guy who's going to beat double teams, a guy who can still go stretch the field, you probably don't have the right idea at this point. He's a great, great player, but I think at this point he's best suited as a complement to another number one guy. He's a guy who works all areas of the field and really catches everything thrown in his direction. He just doesn't really present that same deep threat he did at one point. So I think he's got a few good years left. He's been very, very durable. He's one of the best conditioned athletes in the NFL, um, but I think you have to be realistic about what you're getting. Any chance you think he stays in Indy? Uh, I think that's going to be tough. I think, and we'll get to him in a minute. You got Pierre Garcon, who's a little bit younger, uh, you know, maybe a little more affordable. I see that as probably a more likely possibility at this point. Do you think that it hurts his stock at all that he's played with Peyton Manning and that people just assume, oh, I don't know how good he is, and maybe it's just Peyton? It's a good question. I mean, I think Reggie's got the body of, well, it, again, it's a tough question. That whole body of work comes with Peyton. So it's a great question. I don't know that I have a good answer to it, but I just think he's been so consistent. Beyond Peyton making him look good, he never drops the ball. He'll go get it anywhere on the field. So I think he's a pretty darn good one in his own way. Yeah, put, Peyton puts it in good places, but he makes some great catches along the way. So in the end, where do you think he ends up? Yeah, I think there's a good chance he's going to wind up where Peyton does. A couple of the likely landing spots right now uh, down in Miami. You hear about Washington. These are owners who are looking to make a splash, guys with money. I think those are two very good spots. When you talk about the Dolphins, they're still looking for another outside guy uh, to pair opposite Brandon Marshall. And then in Washington, that's a receiver needy team for sure. Um, I can see those as two likely landing spots. Yeah, it may not matter how good he is without Peyton. If he just keeps following Peyton wherever he is, we may never know, but he's been pretty good. We know that much. You can get the latest on what's going on with Wayne wherever he ends up. Just check us out at profootballweekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the Draft tab at ProFootballWeekly.com.